might you, at any time and at any point, imagine that the finish of our universe might be the beginning of the following one, perhaps one that is through and through exceptional, comparable to our own. Hypotheses of the multiverse are nothing new to space science, but evidence for this speculation is emerging. The James Webb Space Telescope has recently delivered the first picture of another universe. Since the earliest days of written history, people have looked up at the stars and wondered about the sun, the moon, and the stars. For the earliest people, the sun and the moon were openings overhead through which light came into a world that these people imagined as a plate. Over hundreds of years, our species has discovered that we live on a ball that turns and orbits a star, which is itself part of a galaxy, along with a vast number of other stars and planets. We are a tiny part of a huge universe and a significantly larger universe. Despite having had powerful telescopes for around 100 years, we still don't know much about space. Experts are continually finding new quirks in the universe. They find answers to old questions, but many mysteries remain. Oddly, as of now, we don't know who made the universe or why. We didn't know until recently whether the universe has an end or is infinite. With our best telescopes, we have so far been able to see around 13.3 billion light-years away. When we look, we are continuously looking back in time because the light that telescopes like Hubble capture has traveled through existence to reach us. We see the image of the universe as it was when the light began its journey to us. This exploration of the past is fascinating. Thus, experts were able to see almost to the beginning of the universe, or at least they thought so, for quite a while. Then came James Webb, the new space telescope from NASA, the Canadian Space Agency, and the European Space Agency, ESA, which began operations in the summer of 2022. Even the first images from the telescope provided delicate material that sparked heated debates among scientists. To be precise, there are six galaxies that are supposed to have existed at the beginning of the universe for which there is no good reason. Galaxies like GNZ 11 recently existed 250 to 350 million years after the Big Bang, which is theoretically impossible. At this specific time, there should have been several stars slowly coming together to form entire galaxies, and a couple of billion years would be necessary. What does this mean? Is the theory of the Big Bang wrong, or is there an entirely different explanation? Indeed, there might be. We could be looking at another universe here. The image of the galaxy cluster max J0647 plus 7015 reveals a stunning view of a collection of galaxies, like bright pearls shining in the vastness of space. What truly excites scientists about this image isn't just its beauty but the facts. The same region of the universe was previously imaged 10 years ago by the Hubble Space Telescope. However, the quality of the image wasn't as good, and specifically, the old and distant objects behind the scenes couldn't be decoded. It was only clear that they existed, which was odd enough. The gravitational lensing effect, where small and distant objects in the background are enhanced by objects in front, told experts that these faint points of light were ancient and very old. James Webb then revealed stunning new details due to the triple lensing effect. The systems are so old, so bright, and so deeply coordinated that our Milky Way seems rather ordinary in comparison. Today, experts are particularly puzzled by the data on brightness. If the interpretations are correct, these galaxies formed many more stars than our galaxy. All the rules of cosmology might be wrong. Perhaps scientists have built all cosmological perspectives around a hypothesis that is now clearly misleading. This is a shock for those who believed in the existence of a single universe and expected that everything within this universe could be explained by the principles of Einstein's theory of relativity. Meanwhile, various aspects of physics have long suggested that it's more accurate for us to live in a universe that is just one of many, with additional dimensions or universes existing alongside or even within our own world. These systems could challenge our current understanding because they belong to a completely different universe and exist within a different time structure. One of the newly discovered galaxies was named GNZ-12. Galaxies are typically named after the observational techniques through which they are found. GN represents gravitational lensing, Z indicates redshift, and 12 denotes the redshift value. Each observation group uses a slightly different naming scheme, and providing the redshift value of a newly discovered galaxy isn't mandatory. Galaxies can also receive plain numerical designations. To laypeople, GNZ-12 might sound obscure, 
but astronomers hold their breath with this designation. This value means the galaxy existed 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang, making it indeed ancient. According to current cosmological theories, this is apparently impossible. The discovery of GNZ-12 was already celebrated as a sensation in the scientific community, but even more ancient and intriguing galaxies followed. The galaxy candidate CR793316 seems to top all anomalies. This object is so old that it supposedly existed 250 million years after the Big Bang. However, this object shows another peculiarity. Measurements of redshift yielded two incredibly rare results. At one point, the object showed a redshift of 16.7, indicating extreme age. Then, measurements of nearby objects to CR793316 were taken, and based on those, the galaxy showed an entirely different redshift. The galaxy seemed to exist in two places and twice at the same time. Researchers enthusiastically refer to this galaxy as the Schrödinger Galaxy, inspired by the renowned quantum physicist Erwin Schrödinger, who demonstrated that, at the quantum level, at least two realities can exist simultaneously. According to these theories, it's not only possible to have two universes, but there might be countless more in different and limitless forms. Scientists grappling with these measurement results and established perspectives would still like to believe in a measurement error or even doubt whether these points of light are galaxies at all. While spectroscopy analysis to confirm the redshift is still ongoing, further data analysis from James Webb's IR camera has now completely ruled out the possibility of it being a low-mass star or an unnoticed active galactic core. We should assume that the discovery of CR793316 was just the beginning of what is possible. NASA has suggested that the James Webb Space Telescope could theoretically detect galaxies with a redshift greater than 20. These galaxies would have existed only 200 million years after the Big Bang. Or perhaps the telescope is looking much further into parts of our universe, which might confirm that we have encountered a limit of existence unrelated to the Big Bang. At this point, we can no longer speak of the beginning of humanity, the universe, or the time after the Big Bang. Rather, we change the terminology and refer to it as the edge of the observable universe. There lies another fascinating source of light that shows a very high redshift value in our images, demonstrating that a galaxy 2744 Y1 is indeed a galaxy whose light has traveled more than 13 billion years to reach us. A group of researchers has combined the best telescopes on the planet, the Spitzer Telescope, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, and Hubble. They have captured a new image of this amazing galaxy by gathering data from various wavelengths of light and combining them into one picture. Not only is the age and distance of this galaxy captivating, but its star formation rate surpasses anything previously considered possible in physics. Despite being several times smaller than our own Milky Way galaxy, 2744 Y1 produces stars at a rate that is several times faster than that of the Milky Way, which is unusual for a galaxy in a young universe. The observable universe now spans 46.1 billion light years. Beyond that, there is presumably much more. The better our technology becomes, the further and more detailed our observations can reach. James Webb is theoretically capable of looking back 13.6 billion years. If the Big Bang occurred 13.8 billion years ago, there would eventually be a limit to our observations. This is because, a few hundred years after the Big Bang, the universe would have been completely dark. The first stars are believed to have formed only after 380,000 years. If astronomers continue to find even older galaxies, it will undoubtedly indicate that all past cosmological assumptions were incorrect. Currently, scientists at NASA are gaining initial insights with the new telescope, which have already been astounding. However, we know that time generally brings new discoveries, and in a few years, researchers might be able to extract even more from the telescope's capabilities. Perhaps we could finally understand what truly happened at the supposed beginning of time. Although the theory of the Big Bang seemed plausible for a time, there was no evidence to support its accuracy. With the rise of quantum physics, it became much more likely that our universe is an incredibly variable, different, and potentially complex place. Models of bubble universes or pocket universes suggest that our universe is enclosed in a vast bubble and shares space with many other bubbles of varying sizes. The pocket universe theory suggests that within a universe, there are different regions where similar yet also different states of being may persist. 
These pockets could provide access to various perspectives or corners of the universe where different rules apply. There is also a great deal of evidence and clues for these theories as there are for the Big Bang theory. The assumptions of the Big Bang and the principles of Einstein's physics were established long before the theories of quantum physics. In the future, the incorporation of these models could lead to a deeper understanding of our universe and the multiverse. If this turns out to be true, then we might be living in a bubble universe surrounded by various bubbles, or there could be an infinite number of universes, each with its own set of physical laws. This would imply a level of complexity that goes far beyond our current understanding of the universe and our place within it. As we continue to explore and uncover new information, the possibility of discovering alternate universes and viewpoints becomes increasingly likely, potentially reshaping our understanding. We may interpret reality itself in a new light. Delving further into the implications of these new revelations, we need to investigate the broader questions they raise about our universe and our place within it. One of the main questions is whether the universe we observe is all that exists or if our observations only reveal a much larger and more complex structure. The possibility of a multiverse, where different, possibly vast universes exist beyond our own, has gained traction in both theoretical physics and cosmology. If the current discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope suggest the existence of galaxies that defy current understanding, it could be an indication that our universe is just one piece of a much grander, infinite tapestry, the multiverse. The multiverse theory itself comes in various forms, each with different implications for how we might interpret reality. One prominent theory is the inflationary multiverse, which proposes that during the early moments of the Big Bang, different regions of space expanded at different rates. This uneven expansion might have led to the creation of distinct bubble universes, each with its own set of physical laws and constants. If this theory holds, the universe we see might be just one bubble in a vast, diverse cosmic foam. Another intriguing idea is the possibility of a cyclic universe. This theory suggests that the universe undergoes an eternal cycle of creation, expansion, contraction, and rebirth. According to this model, the universe as we know it could be the result of a previous universe collapsing in on itself and then re-emerging in a Big Bang-like event. This cycle could theoretically repeat indefinitely, offering a single way to propose that our universe cycles through an endless series of cosmic rebirths. The discovery of incredibly ancient galaxies like GN, Z12 and CR793316 poses significant challenges to our current understanding of cosmic evolution. These revelations suggest that there could have been processes occurring in the early universe that we do not yet fully comprehend. If galaxies could form and organize themselves so quickly after the Big Bang, it implies that our models of cosmic evolution and the formation of structures in the universe might need substantial revisions. These discoveries could lead to new theories about how galaxies and other cosmic structures develop and interact over time. Additionally, the possibility of observing anomalies that seem to defy standard models of physics opens the door to a reassessment of fundamental principles. For instance, the presence of galaxies with properties that challenge our understanding of dark matter, dark energy, and the behavior of light could necessitate a revision of the standard model of particle physics. This could also prompt a reconsideration of Einstein's theory of relativity and its applicability on the grandest scales. As we continue to push the boundaries of our observational capabilities, the role of future space missions and advanced telescopes will be crucial. Instruments that are even more powerful than the James Webb Space Telescope will be needed to probe deeper into the universe and possibly detect even more distant or faint objects. These advancements will help refine our understanding of the universe's history and structure and may provide further insights into the true nature of the cosmos. Moreover, the philosophical and existential implications of these discoveries are profound. If our universe is part of a multiverse or if there are realms beyond our current observational limits, it challenges our very understanding of existence. This could impact not only scientific theories but also our philosophical and spiritual perspectives on life, consciousness, and the nature of reality. As we uncover more about the universe, we may find ourselves rethinking fundamental questions about the meaning and purpose of our existence. In summary, the new insights gained from the James Webb Space Telescope and other advanced observational tools are expanding our knowledge of the universe in ways we had not anticipated.
These discoveries are not only adding new pieces to the cosmic puzzle, but are fundamentally reshaping how we understand the universe. As we continue to explore and learn, we stand on the brink of potentially groundbreaking revelations that could alter our perspective on reality itself. The journey to understanding the true nature of the universe is far from over, and each new discovery brings us one step closer to unraveling the mysteries of existence as our observational tools become more advanced and our theories more sophisticated. The potential for discovering even more about the nature of the universe and the multiverse grows. The implications of a multiverse theory, or even the exploration of cyclic models, offer tantalizing prospects for expanding our comprehension of cosmic phenomena. The future of cosmic exploration will likely involve a combination of increasingly advanced telescopes, space probes, and theoretical models. Instruments more powerful than the James Webb Space Telescope could provide deeper insights into the universe's structure, potentially revealing the presence of other universes or new aspects of our own. Upcoming missions and projects may focus on probing the early universe with greater precision, investigating cosmic inflation, and exploring the nature of dark matter and dark energy with enhanced accuracy. Additionally, breakthroughs in quantum physics and cosmology could lead to new theoretical frameworks that better accommodate the anomalies observed by current instruments. The integration of quantum mechanics with general relativity, as well as the development of unified theories, could offer explanations for the observed phenomena and help to reconcile discrepancies in our understanding. The possibility of a multiverse or cyclic universes also carries significant philosophical and theological implications. These ideas challenge traditional notions of existence, purpose, and the nature of reality. For instance, if our universe is just one of many, it might suggest that the conditions necessary for life, consciousness, and the universe itself are not unique to our observable realm but are part of a broader, more complex fabric of existence. Philosophically, this raises questions about the nature of our place in the cosmos and the significance of our experiences. If there are countless other universes, each with its own set of rules and possibilities, it might prompt us to reevaluate what makes our universe special, if at all. The search for meaning in such a vast and varied cosmos could lead to new perspectives on existential questions and human purpose.